Hi, my name is Aysar, Aysar Arida. I'm, I will tell you about two very different things and let you mix them together tonight. Um, I'm trained as an architect and urban designer, but I also do a lot of uh, interdisciplinary design that includes toy design, which I will show you in a bit, uh, web design, application design, and so I will be able to answer you a lot of questions if you need to um, in different aspects of, of the issues you're dealing with today. Um, but I'm also a theorist and I've developed my own, if you want, theory of what the city is and, or the city should be. What I would like to talk to you in the first quarter of an hour, if you want, is this view or this way of looking at the urban realm, um, which is not very typical of uh, traditional urban designers, if you want. And you will find in it perhaps a lot of things that relate to service design or uh, design thinking as a way to deal with the city, not just as the physical objects that are the buildings, but also the people who make the city. Uh, so I will start with a drawing. Here. Okay. Do you guys remember this? thing that you often see. Do you know what this is? Huh? It's a vase? What do you see? What do you see? Okay, it's a um, it's it's a, it's a way, it's a, if you want, a visual uh, illusion that plays around your preconceived idea of what you're looking at. So if you've seen a vase before, you think of it as a vase. If you have never seen a vase before, you might think of it as two faces. So with this logic, I want to coin a sentence, which is, urban design thinking. Okay, what do you read in this sentence? Sorry? What, how do you read this sentence? Is it urban design thinking? Or is it urban design thinking? Or is it something else? How do you see it? How do you, what comes to mind? So thinking about urban design, okay. How urban design thinks. Okay. Probably if you come from a design thinking background, you probably read it as urban design thinking, right? So it's the same logic as these two faces. If you've seen a vase, you would probably think of it like this. What I want to get to is that we need to look at maybe a new service or a new uh, way of dealing with the city that is that can be these two things at the same time. Not urban design, not design thinking, but urban design thinking, and it varies depending on the context, if it's this or this, okay? So, very simple. Uh, we're not here to define every single thing we're going to talk about today. It's just throwing out ideas and terms, and I want you to play around with them. So one of the important aspects of uh, what I call urban design thinking is um, not doing what most architects and uh, urban designers or urban planners do, which is think of the city as just physical objects, uh, whether they are the buildings or the cars or the sidewalks or the uh, um, lampposts or the benches or whatever. But think of the city as something much more complex than this, much more organic, uh, where um, a human being is as important as a tree and as important as a building and as important as a car and vice versa. Okay, how do you do this? You do this by thinking back and in looking at everything as it's a very generic thing. Everything in the city is an event. Okay? Everything that happens in the city, whether your presence as a human being 
or an idea that comes to your mind, or a concert, or an accident between two cars, or a bomb, or a building being constructed, every single thing is an event. Okay? And each event is in fact what we refer to as a duality. It means that there's the actual event itself, which is the moment it happened, where it happened, and how it happened, and then the effect of this event. Okay? So if I want to uh, draw something very simple to, to say it, I would say, if I have any event A, this event, when it happens, it creates around it a zone of influence. It's the effect of that event. Okay? You, if you come here and you shout, where your voice arrives, that's the end of that zone. Okay? So, if I put two, two events together, an event B, and although it's physically limited to this point and physically limited to this point, in reality, because of this projected territory, which is the event, if you want, horizon, what we call it, event horizon, these two events can interact in this zone, right? So, how can you start looking at the city as if it's just made out of these little points A, B, C, D, and so on, that are moving around, that are happening in time, that each has its own circle of uh, effects that might not meet together physically, but that affect each other through this territory. Is it too abstract, or can you try to imagine what I'm talking about? I'll give you an example, a very simple example. If you have a uh, sound speaker, right? If I put the sound speaker here, it's making its own sound, and I put another sound speaker here, it's making another sound. There is a point in the room where I stand, which I hear both, and the quality of the sound or the music is 10 times better than if I'm standing here and only affected by this guy, and standing here, I'm only affected by this guy, right? And this guy is just a physical object. If I turn it off, it's limited to where it is there. Okay? So now, having imagined this idea, um, a person is this point A, because it's a physical, physical person, but it's also everything that goes with this physical person that is non-physical. His memory, his uh, emotions, his friendships, right? Uh, everything he deals with, his moods, and so on. So they pro these things are projected beyond his physical presence and physical points. Uh, and then these ideas and these notions and these preconceived uh, notions in, in, in his head interact with other people's preconceived notions. Even if I'm not touching you, we, we're relating, we're talking, we're doing something in that space which is, which is between us, right? But it happens also not between people, it also happens between people and buildings, between people and services, between services together, okay? Uh, you might have, uh, I don't know, two uh, servers, each uh, running a uh, web service, and then they connect together and they can uh, merge data and bring out new information out of this data. Uh, you relate to a building because that building, for example, it looks like nothing, but this is where you kissed your first girlfriend, right? You have a memory linked to that building that is not just the physical building, and not just you, the physical object. So how can you, as designers, be more sensitive to not this, but to this, and to this overlap? How can you train yourself to be always looking at this and this, not just this? And this is what I, I think is important that we, we, we think about. Uh, going from this, I will jump very quickly to say there's generally two or three types of, of these kind of events. There is the human event, which is the person and their memory and everything they do, everything they think about. There's the artificial, which is everything that we create, whether it's a building or a product or um, a table or, or even a web app. And there's the natural, which is a tree, uh, a landscape, something that exists in the, independently from us. And these guys all interact in what I call the 
SST continuum, the society space time continuum. It's one big thing that is all encompassing. So don't think of uh, anything happening without thinking how it relates to society, how it relates to the spatial environment, and how it relates to the history, whether the uh, short term or the long term history of, of this event. Okay? Um, I don't want to go into more details. I'm just going, uh, putting these out to, to show you that even though we're going to play in a bit, uh, I want to, there's theory behind everything we do. Um, one last thing, and it's an easy way to, to understand this notion of SST. Anything you do, and if you want to put, have a meeting with someone, right, what do you say? You say, at X and Y and Z, right? So at the third floor of first floor of the Beritech building, at the intersection of this street and whatever, at three o'clock, right? But you're meeting with someone and you are the one who's calling for the meeting. So the social is intricately linked to this notion of space time that is so common in science, right? The, the idea that science and time are not separate and we've, we know this for, for a hundred years now. Uh, but we forget that we are totally integral to this. And this is why I want to, 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 to insist on the notion that we live in a society space-time continuum, not just in space-time. Okay? And this keep in mind in every single thing you do, uh, because it's very nice to say user-centered or whatever, but it's more than just the user. It's after the user uses your product, what does he do with this product? Okay? When if this is your product and this is the user, this, your product does things. Your user comes to your product, interacts with it, okay? He, he goes all the way into your product, gets engulfed in your product. He becomes a unity with your product. The user himself is affected. And whenever you, he leaves this point of contact, he goes away, but he still has a piece of your product with him. And this is very important because this is how a user becomes a champion or an ambassador for your product. And this is how you, you think of it, not just at the touch point, but in the history, in the space-time history, when he leaves the space of interaction and he, he leaves the moment of interaction, how is he using your, still using your product? How is he talking about your product? How is he... Um, Remem judging every single other product based on what he knows from your product and so on. So think about these things. End of lesson one. <laughs> Herbacraft. I'm going to introduce you to a totally new platform for creating toys. Herbacraft is made of just two pieces of plastic. Okay? These pieces of plastic allow you to build all kinds of infrastructure with it. Okay? So uh, tall buildings, short buildings, fat buildings, uh, all kinds of grid-like structures. I'll, we'll, we'll play with it in a second. What's special about it, I'll tell you in a bit, after you actually try to do stuff with it. Okay? So you might want to... Uh, take a few, well, actually. It's raining. Uh, you only got squares. They don't do anything alone. Hey, mix. Okay. So I, I'll let you for two minutes start to figure out what, how they work together. It's not easy. Forget your original reflexes of playing with Lego. It's not Lego. The best thing about it, if you walk on it, it won't hurt your foot. 
flat. There's only two pieces, there, but they're made in two different plastics for now. And it's the same piece, it's just uh, two designs, but you have white ones and... Okay. You gave up already? Okay. The frustration goes away after a moment and then it comes back in violently. <coughs> okay, hint number one. <laughs> the table is your friend. Unless you're a surgeon, like uh, Diala seems to be. <coughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm just saying. Tip number two, because you are um, designers and design thinkers, or you're trying to design products, including physical ones, look closely at the pieces. Try to figure out why they are designed the way they are designed. number what three yeah. uh, one of the pieces is or, or at least was designed as because what we designed is not necessarily what it ended up becoming one of the pieces is designed to be a wall and the other is decided designed to be a floor One is a floor, the other is a wall. Which means mm -hmm. that it's not, they're not done, yani mo most probably these two pieces live perpendicularly to each other, not, horizontal, not in the same plane, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, although you can invert it, uh, this is the floor, the square, and this is the wall. Hence, its weird shape. The weird shape. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and this is why I say the table is your friend, because these guys slide together, and unless you are a fantastically accurate surgeon, it's much easier to just say, to just do this. Okay? So, why is this the wall? Because we've invented and patented the first system that allows you to connect two flat pieces vertically. 
and they remain together. This is what's special about this connection. Okay, it's not a puzzle where you just put it like this, click, because a puzzle, if you put it up there, it will fall down, right? It's a slider and it works this way. And, and these guys are the floors that go perpendicularly to here. But not the way control it. Okay. So if I want to build a bit of 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 a Herbacraft was originally designed to build buildings and cities, right? Hence the word, the name Herbacraft. And so the idea is that by just putting this like that, I've created a balcony, right? So I can have, that's the best part. So, take this pre-built one. Look, I now have Binay Baton Al Adam with a large terrace, right? Okay, two floors, two bays, two rooms. Very simple. Now, this is the fun part that, uh, what's your name? Adib. Adib is about to learn. Herbacraft hates torsion. Herbacraft hates torsion. Torsion. يعني إذا أنا جيت عملت هيك ومبسوط فيها هيدا وليك عم كبر بنيتي وما بعرف شو حطيت هيدا هيك و it hates torsion. This is torsion. Okay. So when you build something like this, your safe bet is to put one perpendicular here and it will brace the whole thing. So it is logic. Yep, and structure, and the planning in advance, and, 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 okay? So, if I do this... It looks more delicate. It looks more delicate. No, no, it's not. So look, by putting at least one in the other direction, you've created bracing. Okay? Which allows me, and has allowed me, to build structures with Herbacraft that were three meters high using 10,000 pieces in one day. And lightweight, okay? Pasta, eh? Can you stay in I want to show you the best part. Yep. Well, you might want to decide that this is the wall, this is the floor, and this is the wall. You can build any way we built it on the side. No, we're designing these. We're, we're, we're changing. Okay, by the way, this is very much a beta product. Yani we, are, we have taken a lot of uh, input out of people, out of seeing people play with it, and we're fine-tuning things. So certain things by design, again, because we wanted it to be a, um, a, 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 something you, you build streetscapes with, not buildings, you will notice that there is no corner element. There is no way. And no, how to, uh, there's no element that allows you to put two pieces like this together, yeah. right? This is by design because we wanted to people and we, we found that if you give children and people in general corners, they tend to make boxes. We don't want boxes. We want to have streetscapes, yani street facades, either tall or thin and long, okay? Another reason why these two guys don't connect together so as not to form fat buildings. Uh, 
okay? So it's not so that you don't form fat buildings like this automatically. Although you can, because if you use one of these, like that, you can connect them, right? Using this. But it's costly. If you have a limited number of these, you don't do this. But you can if you want to. Fantastic. ما بتعمل هو اللي ما 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 بخلوك تعمل كونكشن بس لو حاطط واحدة بين اثنين بريدجينج يو كان يعني اوكي او وات ايفر احسن هون اند ذيس ساوند اي هيرد سو ماني تايمز اند يوجولي اتس فولود باي اكسكليتيف لا مش سوري اكثر اجمل اختك اختي اوكي So we have what ten? Ten more minutes, guys. في شغلة بضحك كمان اكتشفناها. وقت الخلينا أولاد يلعبوا فيها. And if you put enough of these guys together, you can make the the world's longest road. But you can also make Champs-Élysées. Champs-Élysées. Hey, Masala. 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 You can make circles. Ah, oh, nice. Then you have to press a bit. Ideally, لا إذا برمت بطيرو جرب. تفرد. Okay. ما حدا منكم سألني لشو هول السلوتس بهيد الشقفة. Can you figure it out? Yep. If this is a building, what is missing? If this is a building, what uh, Adib has just built, what is missing to this building? The separation inside, inside. The facade. Hence, our facade system. مثلا اوكي ممكن ان ممكن Right? So, so the no, holy just templates. Okay, They're just cardboard templates. That can be anything. You can put them in different positions, obviously. So you have all kinds of different uh, building sections you can create: balconies, loggias, whatever. And you put them. A what? A throne. A throne. You can. No, of course not. You can do anything with it. I'm, I'm telling you what it was designed to do and why certain no, the I shapes wanna... have the shape they have. But you can, we've seen people do all kinds of things with it. When we launched, what we did for launching is that we asked the 40 best architects, designers, artists, and activists to build stuff with it. And we organized an exhibition at the Beirut Art Center for three months. And, and they built crazy things that we have never, would have never thought about, and very few of it was architecture. And Masar Nada Debus, you know Nada Debus? Yes. Nada Debus did a table like, uh, what's your name again? Anna Abdullah. Abdullah is making a table with some chairs around it, and, and said, I'm, an urban, I'm, a, I'm a furniture designer, so I designed a conference room for you to talk about urban matters, right? So 
She diverted it with, with still staying within the theme that we, we asked her to do. Okay? Look, these are, try to play around with these. These are uh, some leftover laser cut facades. So, I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the whole idea is that the, 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 if you want as a service or as a product, the tagline of Herbacraft is that it's the world's most customizable toy. Why? Because these guys, you can print your own. So you can make anything. You can make a building that looks like Beirut. You can make a building that looks like New York. You can make, make anything in the world, right? You can even download the templates of these parts because they, we're opening, so open sourcing them. And if you want a circular balcony or, cir or a corner piece, you just change it and laser cut it at, at home or in a, you know, at... Okay, so one other example. Can anyone guess what these are? Huh? Uh, Where? Is it, is it a bridge? I don't know. No, it's a tree. It's a tree. Look, look, it's a tree. Yeah, I Min al tree. Min al flagpole. Min al robot arms. Min al. But I can see how it's an arm. Yeah, like it. Okay. مثلا وهي تريلا ست ديالا نحسن خزقت عندك مقص you want a straight edge لأن أهي عم تفوت straight edge بس جو there you go there's a tree Okay, you want a palm tree? This is a palm tree, or whatever. Yeah, huh. some kind of a tree. Huh. I don't palm tree. There you go. I have palm tree. So there's a forward. It's a flagpole, it's an arms thing. You can use it, uh, you know, to make a plane with uh, wings. The idea is very simple. Herbacraft is just two pieces that are open to you adding any craft thing you want to it. That's why it has holes, that's why it has slits. It's for you to add things to it. So you might want to take, you know, use this to link pieces together. And you might have, uh, you, know, you know, you might bring an axle and wheels from another toy and put it in the hole and make a car. The idea is, unlike most branded toys, you're not stuck in there, in what they give you. You can create anything you want from your own stuff. So, here's some people. Here's some kids. Here's some children. Until you have too many, too many. أنت 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 كثير من هول مش كفاية من هوليك. Okay, and big points. Whoever whoever figures out what these are. You can figure out what this is.
look at a, whenever you have an object between your hands, try to look at what it's look what what makes it, what's special about it. Why would it be designed like that? Who can figure out what this is? Yeah. Uh, no, this is mine. Masalan, okay, great. Shumaneta, what are the, why would they fit here? Look at, look at it, look, look at the thing you have in your hands. Look at it properly. Look at every single line on it. Every little thing. Okay. It bends. Thank you. Why does it bend? Okay, that's one way. But Or It's an adapter. It's an adapter. It allows you, if you fold it, it actually goes into this thing and this allows you to have anything that's thin enough that doesn't have the right tab to go into it to sit in it. They do, and, and school students as well. Hello, It's here. It's great. Um, again, تخيلوا أنتم مش اللي يلي أنا أعطيتكم إياهم. تخيلوا إذا ما كنتم كرتوني وقصيت تورا شلتوا بس هول الكورنرز بطريقة إنه تصير تفوت هون أو عملتوا لها لسان أطول أو whatever. You can do all kinds of things. You're not limited to just these two plastic pieces. And I think of it. Hey, بفوتوا هيك. Think of it as a if it's a building that you're build, you're pouring things in concrete. But then you're selecting all the different materials to give it the, the, the style or the feel you want. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. This is amazing. You, your uh, quadrupoid, whatever it's called, folds has become a tree. No. <laughs> Wait. Put some people with it. Thank you. Right? I know. It's amazing once you put a hole in something, how many things you can do with it just. Three people? 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 Oh, great. See, what do we have here? We already have an urban space, right? 
But then imagine building things like this or a much bigger platform and putting all your buildings around it and then using uh, Laps it to create a small animation in this, right? Yes. What could be interesting is that we have all the buildings of all of them. All of them. To build like a small city. Exactly. Or not. That's what you're doing. من بده فسادات من هون مين بيعرف دوفر ستريت ماركت في لندن This is Dover Street Market This is their building It's a special edition for them إذا رحت معي So So since we're learning about or playing around with service and product design, let me tell you a bit about Herbacraft as a product. You see that it's not easy. That's why we're still a startup. We're still trying to figure out who this, this toy is for. We have as much interest from schools and children playing with it as from companies and architects مثلاً, who are asking for, for their special edition. Uh, as uh, as client giveaways. My beach house. I have a question. Yeah. How are these made? Which ones? The pieces. Okay. The pieces are made of PP, which is polypropylene, which is, funnily enough, the 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 stuff you make uh, Tupperware with. And why is it made of PP? Because it just happens that the uh, factory we're working in Beirut with only has PP. They're not 3D printed. No, they are injection molded. No, no. At this stage, you need to factor. You would need to factor in uh, manufacturing, manufacturing the the mold, sending it there, or having it made there, testing it, flying there three, four times to make sure it's correct bringing it back. Now we, man, we were between final design, listen to this, between final design and first prototype, it took us two and a half weeks. How much? Two and a half weeks. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Okay? And, and I think one of the messages I, I, I would love to, you to, to, to listen and keep in mind today, you can do anything in this country. Okay? Any idea, any product, any project you think about, we have everything to make it happen. The technology is here, there's, and unless you're doing super high tech, uh, you know, uh, silicon, silicon, uh, uh, silicon, silicon, valley, silicon uh, molds and, and high electronics, no. But everything else is present here. We found a guy who, who, the guy who makes these for us, manufactures, he's never manufactured a toy in his life. What he manufactures is Tupperware boxes. Food packaging. Mina biyam food packaging. Zalim al bismal na hall. Who is making food packaging? Where is he? Where is he? So, okay. Just you just need to go and tell them they can do something else with their machines, and they will do it. 
if we were, if we were to do, try to do this in China, it would, we would have had to spend at least three or four months between come and go and did it work, didn't work. Here, you can see the car, you can see the car, you can see the car, you can see Isn't this amazing? Hey, and uh, like, I, I'm going to show you something else you can do because if you see this thing, there's the leftovers which are really fun to use. Come in. <laughs> now this is part of a kit which is like modernist buildings, so it's the facade. But the, you can use the circle exactly, and one of one way of using it is to slide it in these, and uh, you know. I don't know, find something to do with it. Or you can use these as adapters, like we said earlier. You know? You can take this because it's hard. And holy leftovers about the circular facade. So this you can. You know. I like and no, it's not. Yeah, I'm on the key. It's the user and the Yeah. And that's what interests me Look. the most. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you're curious, if you're curious, this, it is designed to be at 1 to 64 scale. Do you know what scale is? Okay, so it's at 1 to 64. Why is it at 1 to 64? <laughs> What is it, 1 to 64? Who knows? The boys. Boys? Yes. What is 1 to 64 scale? Matchbox. Matchbox cars. So what? Okay, what do I what do I mean in this particular case by Echelle en 64? It means that by design, listen, 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 listen. By design, this is equivalent to each cube we make, like which is heke by heke. It's one parking spot, but it's not. That, that's not our game. No, I mean just the scale. No, this, it is equivalent to one part of but in reality, it's equivalent to one room. It's 3.2 by 3.2 by 3.2. It's like it's your, sing, your first living cell. In a way, we're looking at the city, the whole city, not as made out of buildings, but as made up of living cells. 3.2 by 3.2 by 3.2, or 10 by 10 by 10 feet cubes. Okay? To translate this, we chose 1 to 64, because it allows us to also add the cars when we're playing with this. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, so if you're putting people, these guys, if you measure them at 1 to 64, they're the right scale. But it doesn't stop here. You can cheat. You can decide, like what's your name? Joel. Joel decided that this is 1 to 200 scale. Yeah. Or, this, or whatever, then this becomes a chair and not a room. Okay? So you play with the scales to change completely what this toy does and what this means.